What's going on, America? This is the question that so many of us have that's on our minds. When are we going back to normal? When is this thing going to end? Right now, you've been cooped up in your house. You're walking around wearing a mask. It's very weird. It's very strange. It's very unfamiliar. When are we going back to normal? I'm going to share with you some educated perspectives on when we're going back to normal and how it's all going to play down, plus a few fun scenarios that I think may happen. So just bear with me, America. Just bear with me. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go ahead and download my free course, 30 Days to 2500 and the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. This course and these courses will teach you how to have a stronger mindset and how to create a side business. That's my gift to you during this pandemic, America. We're looking at three to four years before we go back to normal. One of the first things that's going to happen, and this is going to be very, very controversial, a vaccine is going to have to be developed. And we're about 18 months to two years away from that. And what we're going to have is this shifting this rolling thing because there's this map that I look at every day and the infection rates are growing. Maybe hospitalizations are down. I don't, sh I don't know more. Maybe more people are getting it, but they're asymptomatic. I really don't know. But I will say this, that China is starting to relock down provinces. So it has started, China's on this third wave of outbreaks. So this thing isn't just going to disappear as the Donald was saying that it'll just disappear. So that's going to be the first and critical part. And once a vaccine, a viable vaccine is developed, we're looking at six months to produce enough vaccines for large populations. Because once they get the vaccine put together and then they're going to share it with all of the countries and all of these countries production and capa capacities are going to start working up over time. So during the meantime, we're just going to be suffering. That's just what it is. You know, you're going to have people who are going to get it. And it's very, really, really wild because I've been doing some research. It impacts people so differently. There's a group of people who are walking around who have it. They're asymptomatic. They don't experience any ill effects, but they can transmit the virus to other people. And that's kind of like herpes. There's a lot of people who have herpes. They've never had an outbreak, but they can give giving the gift that keeps giving. So that's going to be an issue. And also, I feel that unemployment is going to continue to rise. And I'm going to tell you why. Half the country feels that this is a hoax. Half the country feels that this is real. Half of the country is comprised of business owners. And a lot of business owners are going to not open. And a lot of states are not going to open. So we're going to have a growing unemployment problem. And this right here is going to create a drain on the economy because right now the savings rate is higher than it's been since the 1980s because people are scared. People are holding on to their money. And also, we're, this is an election year. I'm going to make this prediction. Personally, I don't think that there's going to be any more stimulus checks unless they are forced to do it with the GOP Senate and the GOP president in place. If one or two of those things changes, if the Democrats get the Senate in the House, the stimulus checks will become real. All of these conversations, all of these generous proposals, they will become real. If they get the Senate and the presidency, you can be rest assured that we will have stimulus proposals all over America. And that's wild to say, but also, the elections are many, many months away, and that's just to say that we're still going to be dealing with this around election time. This could impact voting because you're going to have to mask up and go in and put your voting card in and touch all. I mean, it's going to be crazy because like going to the grocery store is this procedure because there's someone at the grocery store at Target. They have someone who's wiping down all the carts and they put them in the line so you can get a freshly wiped down cart. I can just see that voting could become a nightmare with these procedures because all the little people will be sitting there with their mask on. You'll come in. Maybe they'll make you wear gloves. I don't know. I don't. Voting could be like 
the craziest thing ever because you know what they're doing when you go to the grocery store but i don't know how that's going to go but here's why i feel that we're going to go through this for three to four years germany and japan have both slid into recessions now these are some of the world's largest economies we're in a recession china's in the recession britain's in the recession japan germany so all of the countries economies are in recession so that's going to be a problem for a few years and you know it's 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 going to be this weird new normal that we will be living and experiencing because i want you to understand right now is a scary scary part of time and also i feel that they're going to try to open up college football and they're going to try to open up the nfl and if that goes well they'll keep doing it but recently here in georgia a church that had opened up and people went to the church two weeks after going to the church a lot of people who attended the church came down with the coronavirus so the church has shuttered and this is what you're going to have you're going to have opening and closing opening and closing opening and closing we're not going to have any sustainable momentum going forward because the virus is going to keep coming the virus ain't going nowhere you know i mean there was this whole thing and for you idiots who were like talking about ultraviolet and all this other stuff and because i'm black i'm supposed to know all this stuff about you're idiots you're stupid because the ultraviolet rays are not impacting the people in florida they're not impacting the people in central america they're on lockdown so let this stuff go uh, a lot of people want to believe in these wives tales every day i get people who are sending me conspiracy theories and I'm, I'm not going to publicize that and i'm not going to put this on this youtube channel because you folks are crazy you you just nuts i'm not doing it but what i will say is this is going to be going on for years and this may actually tank the american economy i know that's really large talk and that that is wild speculation but i want you to understand and i'm going to dive into the math the country has 30 million businesses and out of these businesses restaurants compose a lot of them there's a lot of small mom and pop businesses we could have and this is just an estimate 30 percent of 30 million businesses go out of business 30 percent of 30 million we're talking about eight to nine million businesses going out of business and i know that's scary and that's a lot of numbers but this is what we could have and this is going to create dramatic long-term unemployment across the board because it's going to be like someone literally turned off the lights on 30 percent of the businesses in america 30 percent we're going to have all types of adjustments to the stock market because once you know because you know your day traders you you guys don't care what the stock does long term as long as it moves up and it keeps doing and you can make money that's all you care about so you guys probably going to be in for very profitable months because the market's going to continue to be wild uh, what you know it, it, it's it, it's crazy because as i sit here and i make this video and my mind is just full of all of these things that are going to happen because the the big thing is for us to beat this is the vaccine i know that trump says vaccine no vaccine we open it up and that is true because the cost and this is one of the things like we get a democratic senate and based upon the comments that i've read in the stimulus check update videos these folks are ready to vote these gop people out if the gop does not cut give and cut and give america another check they will be voted out of office this is how angry american is america is because america has seen corporate bailout after corporate bailout after corporate bailout and now it's time for the people and there's no help that's coming it's not speedy it's not quick and a lot of people are very very angry and they're going to take that anger out at the polls the trust in that so this is a really crazy time because if you are a republican and you believe in self-sufficiency but you're unemployed and your wife is unemployed and you have two little children and you have no money coming in 
you're going to start adapting some socialist viewpoints very quickly. Because this is one of the things, because you know, this whole pull yourself up by the bootstraps, you, you got to realize right now a lot of people don't have no boots. They can't pull themselves up by their bootstraps. And one of the things that I, I feel is going to happen is this is going to increase the level of innovation and entrepreneurship. Because there are many people, America, I'm talking to you, there are many people who felt, who are feeling like I felt many, many years ago when I got laid off. I was doing a good job, I was showing up, I was doing, I was a good employee, I was doing what I needed to do, and they were like, hey man, we don't need you no more. That feeling sucks. And there are many people who are feeling like that, and they're like, you know what? Right now, there's a, there's a small but growing group of Americans who are looking into entrepreneurship, because it's like, this ain't happening to me again. I'm not going through this again. This, this ain't happening. Next time, I'm going to be ready because I'm going to be in charge. I'm not going to lay myself off. So I think that we're going to have an incredible adjustment to people becoming entrepreneurs. And they're going to be entrepreneurs by force versus entrepreneurs by choice. Because they're going to look at the landscape. Because I guarantee you right now, America, there's uh, Ted and he's talking to his wife, Susie. And they're, they've both been laid off. They got a little savings. And it's like, Susie, what kind of business can we start? I guarantee you these conversations are happening right now because people are, have been adjusted. Their normal life has been adjusted. You know, we're going to have a group of people who are going to go to the beach. They're going to take trips. They're going to do, they're going to live their lives. You know, YOLO, you only live once, baby. They're going to, they're going to live their lives. They're not going to be um, hamstringed by a virus. They're, they're going to go out and do what they need to do. And you're going to see a strange new America because every time I go out and I have my mask on, I'm a mask wearer. I know there are people out there who you wearing the mask. You scared, man. You just that punk. You punk wearing mask. You mask wearing punk, blah, 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 blah. I'm wearing the mask. I believe this thing is real and I don't want to catch it. So I'm going to take precautions. I wear a mask. I wash my hands. I do all of those things. And I limit my exposure to a lot of people. And th that right there, what I just said, there are many people who are just like me, who feel the same way that I do, and this is gonna be another drag on the economy. I put my video up, there will be no V-shaped recovery. I've looked at these numbers, and the numbers are scary. The Fed is doing double monkey backflips. And Jerome Powell has come out on record and said, we need more. He says, the Fed has only the power to lend money. We don't have the power of taxation and spending. That's Congress. He went ahead and said that on public record because Jerome Powell's a smart cookie. He understands that the Fed can only do so much. And here's the really pernicious, scary part. As much as the Fed is doing, as much money as the Fed is pumping into the economy, as much liquidity as they're providing, America's still falling apart. Because the Fed can do some certain things, but here's the thing, even though if we get into a negative interest rate situation, the banks are still not going to loan money to unqualified people. Going back to unemployment, going back to the businesses that are gonna shut down. This is going to create a scenario where we're going to have so many people, good people, hardworking people, but they won't be able to qualify for loans. We're going to have businesses that are literally on an ICU, on critical condition. They're not going to be able to qualify for loans. Even with a negative interest rate environment, they're not going to be able to qualify for loans. So even though the liquidity will be there, they're not going to be able to access it because of their economic profile. This is going, this is why I'm like, you know, I, I see these, like um, Graham Stephan did this video talking about like most people are paying their rent. I did a five minute Google search and I found landlord after landlord after landlord. This was one lady up in New York. She normally gets $16,000 a month in rents for her 14 properties. She has four properties that are empty. She only collected $6,300. And most of her tenants are not paying. 
and then I found another person, I found another person, I found another person. So I understand that people don't like bad news. I get that. But there is something about putting out a false narrative. And here we're going, we're about to go into June. Rent's going to be due again. And I have a feeling that these rosy projections of people paying 97% of the, you know, 97% of the people paying rent. I don't believe that because there were so many Americans in the economic fragile position before the pandemic. I don't believe that 97% of the people are paying their rent when also a lot of the people who have been unemployed have not been able to access unemployment benefits. They literally spend all day calling the unemployment department of labor, unemployment office, and they can't get through. These people don't have no money. They're not paying their rent. They're not paying their bills. What are they paying their rent? And what, they, they don't have no money. They can't access no money. And also I think 90 million Americans have not received any stimulus money. They have not received their stimulus check. So where's all of this money coming for this V shaped recovery? I don't see it. I don't see it. And that's why I'm coming to you, America. I'm telling you the truth because I'm going to have a few solutions. It ain't all gloom and darkness, but it's going to take a mental adjustment because the first thing you're going to have to do is embrace the truth because when you embrace the truth, then you make better decisions. America, I want you to embrace the truth. So what does, what can one do? Like you and your wife, you're at home. What can you do? First of all, I, just a few suggestions that you to me, YouTube, my courses, there are literally thousands of online course creators that have content that will help you. And you're going to have the few things you're going to have to divorce yourself of. You're going to have to divorce yourself of easy money right now. Everybody is going to have to work for their money because you, America, you're holding on to your money. You're making better spending choices. You're being more judicial and practical with your money. So that's a problem for people who sell things. So you're holding on to your money and there's a LinkedIn has courses there. I mean, these are, even if you don't have no money, I mean, LinkedIn, like it's like 24 bucks a month and you can access all types of courses. Uh, Udemy is really cheap. Skillshare is really cheap. Start building new skill sets. Go to Google, look at what's hot. I'm, I can tell you literally, if you know how to run Google ads and you become proficient and you can become proficient in about six months, that's a $50,000 to $75,000 a year job. Yeah. Google ads. So get into tech. Everyone needs to upgrade their skills right now. There are a lot of tech companies that are hiring right now, but people don't have the skills. This is why the HB one visa thing was so large because these companies, because so many of us Americans, we, we don't have the skills. We don't have the tech skills that pay the bills. And you need to start getting these skills. You need to start getting certifications. You need to start working. You're at home all day. You ain't working, man. America, you ain't working. You ain't working. You need to be every day. This, this is one of the videos I put out and I'm going to recap it every day. You need to get up <clears throat> as if you're going to work. <clears throat> you need to put on your work clothes and go to your home office and go to school every day, five days a week until your head hurts. You need to stuff as much new information in your head as possible. This is how we're going to make this through with America. You're not going to make it through it being the person you was before the pandemic. It's not going to happen. Those days are gone for about three to four years. You know, we will have normal again. We will be going to football games. But it's going to become after these vaccines and other implications are developed because I'm telling you, this whole thing is super nasty. There's a guy who's a Broadway, Broadway star. He literally has been in the hospital like four or five, five weeks in a coma. He developed a situation where they had to amputate his leg. He has holes in his lungs. There was a young girl. She had two heart attacks. This thing is 
I, personally, I'm about to get into a little conspiracy theory. I believe this thing was man-made. I don't think this is a natural flu or a natural disease. I think this was something that was man-made and it got out and it's presenting in crazy ways. And I also don't think there's just one version of it. I think there's a multitude of versions because there's a version where people become get it and they're just asymptomatic. They have no symptoms, they have no presentation. And there's another version people get it and they're like on their deathbed in almost two weeks. So I feel that this is man-made. I feel that it got loose and it's like, oh my God. Or to get really deep into the conspiracy theory, this was something that was man-made and it was intentionally left out to infect the population. I know that's a deep, dark, but this is how my mind thinks, America. I, I feel, I don't think this is something natural. I don't feel that this is just something that just happened. I feel that this was an intentionally created and intentionally put out into the environment. And a lot of people are gonna suffer, many people are gonna die. And it is really sad, the evil that exists in the world. Because whoever created this and whoever set this loose, it was 100% unadulterated, pure evil. Pure evil. And with that, America, you know, a lot of us are gonna make it. Most of us are gonna survive this. Whether we get it or not, most of us are gonna make it. There's gonna be a select few who are not gonna make it. They're not gonna be with us. And what I want you to do is to start living in truth and also adjust what you're doing. I'm here to tell you, it, 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 it's not going to be a V-shaped recovery. It's not gonna be a snapback. I, I see a lot of people who are listening to Trump and they're parroting what he says. Oh, the third quarter, I mean, the third quarter, he may lose his job. That's what may happen in the third quarter. He may be voted out of office because like I said, I watch the stimulus check. I don't really watch the stimulus check videos because all they're doing is regurgitating proposals, possibilities, or just simple stuff. It, I don't really watch it, but I read the comments. I read your comments, America. I understand that a lot of people are hurting. And if these politicians don't get their act together, because see the Democrats, they're, they're selling this right. Hey America, we the Democrats, we got your back. We are trying to work it out. These, these nasty pesky Republicans, they don't want to help us out, but we are trying to help you out. And I guarantee you, if the Democrats win the Senate and they get a controlling, they control the house and the Senate, the stimulus check, Proposed because this is in the future. This is in 2021. You will see stimulus check, stimulus check proposals all up in 21. You will potentially see that $2,000 per month payment from Congress to you. You may really see that if they win the, the Senate. And I also feel also just a little deeper thought that one of the reasons that the Democrats are proposing all of these generous proposals is to buy votes for the upcoming election. Because you know, right now, there's a lot of Republicans who are like, I sure could use a stimulus check. I can use it right now. And a lot, a lot of Republicans are gonna vote Democrat in the upcoming election. Because they're gonna vote in their enlightened self-interest. They're going to vote with their interest. They're not going to vote against their interest. This is going to be a really different election. You know, last time Trump won because people voted against their best interests. Farmers got hurt. A lot of industry got hurt. A lot of promises were not kept. This time, people are going to vote with their best interest in mind. And for most of America, the Democrats want to give you money, America. They want to put money in your bank account. They want to give you a debit card. They want to do all kinds of stuff. The Democrats want to double monkey backflip all over America and give you stimulus checks. And I, I do feel that if they win, this is going to happen. But if they don't, and it's going to be really, really interesting how many people are going to vote against their best interest. It's going to be very, really, really interesting. But America, I want you to understand we can beat this. We can. 
but it's going to take work. It's going to take a new strategy. It's going to take a new level of thought. It's going to take new action. It's going to take looking and acting a little different. So if you're one of those people, one of those, God forbid, unfortunate people that got laid off, with little money you got, start taking online courses. Start getting new skill sets. Because the life that you used to have, for many of you, it ain't coming back. That life is gone. It's toast. Until we get a vaccine, the life that most of us, that we just literally took for granted, being able to go to a park, hang out, meet new people, shake hands, dating, we, we, we took all of that for granted. And that's been taken away. And that's not coming back for, like I said, three to four years, because the first step is the, the, the development of that vaccine. And people will line up. You know, the anti-vaxxers, I guarantee you, they're going to be like, put it in my shoulder, put it in my shoulder, get in that deltoid. A lot of these anti-vaxxers, they're going to take this vaccine. I guarantee it. They're going to take it because this is not a vaccine that they're trying to force down your throat. It's a vaccine that will save your life and prevent you from getting this nasty what I believe to be man-made disease. Because, you know, I used to work in the medical field and I'm just reading how that this one disease presents so differently across so many different populations. It is, you know, if you old with underlying conditions, it's pretty much gonna take you out. And 90% of the people who were on ventilators didn't make it, 90%. And I think they're starting new treatment options where they're trying to not put you on the ventilator. So here's the thing, America, we got to work and dig deep because I feel that this is going to bring manufacturing back to America. I feel that this is going to create a new wave of entrepreneurs. This is going to create new innovation. This is going to open people's eyes to only person that's going to take care of me is me, America. It's you. you you're the only person that's going to take care of you. So I, I want you to watch this video a few times so you can take it all in because you will see people who will tell you that most of the people are paying their rent. That's false. You will see people will tell you we're going to have a V-shaped reco recovery. That's false. And you will hear from my own president that we're going to snap back in the fourth quarter. That's false. If you dive into the numbers and look into the math, Warren Buffett, he's sitting on his cash. Jerome Powell, another smart cookie, says this is going to be all of the smart money is saying the same thing, that this will be a prolonged and deep recession and there will not be a V-shaped recovery. Do the research. Just go do the research. Go to Google and you will see that all of the guys with money who have lived through recessions after recession are saying the same thing. The CEO of Boeing says he fully expects the airline industry to be impacted for three years, three to four years. This ain't going to be quick, America. We're not going back to normal anytime soon. I, I hate to be the bearer of such drastically bad news, but I want you to be prepared because see right now, America, there's opportunity. Right now, if you start working, on developing new skill sets, you could be in a better position after this pandemic than you were before the pandemic. I'll share a little story with you before I go. I was just like most of you. I was a hardworking man. I had three jobs, had a full-time job, a part-time job, a PRN job, I worked in healthcare, and I was proud to take care of my family. And I would work all over time I could. And that's before I became educated on the value proposition and the exchange of value for money. But I was just like you, America, working hard, freaking out. And I, I will tell you that you're going to have to have a radical alteration of your mindset because the old economy is gone. The old economy is dead. Gig work doesn't really pay all the bills. 
So you're going to have to become a business owner. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you don't want to be bothered. I know all these internet gurus are selling you on these little scams. Yeah, they're scams that you can make a whole bunch of money for doing little or nothing. It's a scam. It's a scam. What I teach people to do is to build businesses and it's going to take the one to three years. And by serving your fellow man. I don't teach rent seeking, which is Forex, day trading, Bitcoin. That's rent, rent seeking. But you could actually come out way better. And if God forbid, if you're one of these people who are making more money on unemployment and all you're doing is just sitting up in your house eating Cheetos and Cheerios, you're wasting time. Because unless the Democrats win the Senate, you're glorious extra unemployment benefits are going to run out. They're going to cut them. And then what you going to do right now, you're being conditioned for that life. And that's not good. That's not good for your mental. That's really not. So what I want you to do, I'm giving you 30 days to 2,500. I want you to go below, get that course, get the hustlers, Kung Fu, pimping your mind for success, get that course. And if you're in a position, I want you to get the money management course. I know I make some strong recommendations that you should stop contributing to your 401k. You should stop contributing to the start market and build yourself a serious cash fortress because we're going to be in this for a minute and you don't know if your job's going to be safe. You don't know because the layoffs, because this is one of the reasons, because I asked this question on Facebook, how are we going to have a V-shaped recovery when people are still getting laid off? And people may still be getting laid off through the month of June and July and August. If that happens, that, that kills a V-shaped recovery. It ain't, it ain't going to happen. And like I said, all the long money is thinking and saying the things that I'm saying. So America, watch this video a few times and marinate on what I said. And I'll see you in the next one.